the top, off your back and on your feet. Time to get that CDL, ain't no time to sleep. It's your boy Big Mac for Bonafide. I'm here with Driver Solution. You already know, man, it's time for us to get in the game. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. This is the last time that we will talk before you become a CDL holder. Come on, man. You have come so far. You've been in classes. You've been studying every day. You've been memorizing uh, information out of the book. I mean, I'm proud of you. Are you proud of you? Come on. Pat yourself on the back. Give it to yourself. Give yourself a hand clap. Because even if, even if today does not go as planned, you did something that you didn't think you could do. But this is what I want to talk to you about, the road test. I want to just help you get a little tighten up before you get in that truck. Few checkpoints, things that are keeping you uh, on your mental bulletin board. First thing, do not forget, once you get in the truck, and once you, once you get back in the truck from your pre-trip inspection, once you go outside, you do your walk around, you do part A, B, or C, or all three of them, depending on where you take your test at, do not forget the first thing you are to do when you get in back, get back in the truck is, put your seatbelt on, man. Put your seatbelt on, man. Don't forget the seatbelt. I'm going to tell you why. I have seen guys fail because they did not put their seatbelts on once they got back in the truck. Why? Because they felt like, A, they were on a training course. B, they felt like because they had put it on before, I don't, I don't know where their minds have been. I'm just telling you through experience. Second thing, please do not forget to not just turn the truck on. This is not a car. This is a tractor trailer. You have to allow your gauges to cycle first. Then adjust your seat and your mirrors for your driving. Make sure you mention that a second time. Remember, we are talking about once you have gotten out, did your pre-trip, now you are back in the truck. Get that seat belt on, adjust your seat, adjust your steering wheel, and adjust your mirrors. And call these things out by name. Next, make sure that you wait for your cutout valve to go, right? To signify that your airbags are full. Ask them. Do not just take it upon yourself. Ask them if you can help it along. Because now you are going through the dry run of what you will be doing every day as a driver. And it is your job to show this uh, CDL inspector that you are in fact competent enough to do this job on a daily basis. So when you guys get on the road, what do you need to be looking out for? You need to be, and, and this is something that a trainer told me, you can tell who is a good CDL driver by how they make their right turns, by how they might make their right turns. What do you want to look for in your right turns? Make sure that there are no cars in your blind spots. Use all of your mirrors, ladies and gentlemen. Next, I want you to remember your pivot point. Make sure that your tandem's clear, whatever the object is that you're trying to clear, whether it's a car, whether it's a stop sign, whether it's a corner, make sure that your tandem's clear it before you start to make your turn. And use a little bit of trucking judgment. You've been in school long enough, you should know how to to use a little bit of trucking judgment. Some streets are a little narrower than others, so you're gonna have to go up and out. Little button hook. Now, I don't think that on the uh, road test they'll throw this at you, but who knows, everybody's from different parts of the country. Be ready to exercise the skills that you have cultivated over the past few weeks while you were studying and getting ready for this day. Next, most importantly, before, during, and after. Make sure that you look before, during, and after. Before, during, after. Before, through the windshield. During, through your window. After, in the mirror. Before a intersection. During, while you're passing an intersection. After, in your mirror. After you've gotten through the intersection. You are looking and making sure that you have not that, that nothing is coming toward you, that nothing is coming out, and that nothing has come out or that you haven't damaged anything by after you've gone through. This is at every intersection, at every, uh, at every corner, 
and and always be on point and let me tell you something that they'll do sometimes just to see how on point you are they'll say hey man did you see that deer on the side of the road now there may or may not have been a deer on the side of the road but what are they looking for they are looking for your alertness because on, when you are driving in real time you will have to be alert as to everything that is going on around you because as we mentioned before you are the professional driver therefore the burden of skill lies upon you not the four-wheeler no matter how at fault they might be you are the professional driver so I need you to remember before during after every intersection every corner right and watch out for those hidden driveways and always be paying attention head head be paying attention head on the swivel Every eight seconds, you should be doing mirror checks. These are things that will take points away from you, and they will decide whether you are going to be a safe driver. You got to understand, not only is this guy has has a state standards that he has to evaluate you by, but he has good old what they call, which I believe is a myth, common sense that says, hey, my granny's going to be on the road with this guy. My mother's going to be on the road. My wife, my teenage daughter who barely knows how to drive is going to be depending on this driver to know how to drive for her. So you need to exhibit these skills while you're taking your road test. All right, guys. So listen, we are going to pass this thing. You have gotten this far. You have taken your written permit. You got that. You have studied and gotten down pat your uh, your pre-trip inspection. Now you've been on that range day after day. You've been practicing your back. And oh, and another thing on the maneuvers. Please remember this key point. Everything is about getting to the straight back position. Whether you are parallel parking, offsetting or uh, uh, alley docking, it is all about getting to the straight back position. Once you get to the straight back position, remember, if you cannot remember, because you can't be doing all of this, back has to remain on the seat. So if you cannot remember where your wheels are in regards to the turn, guess what? Stop the vehicle, turn your wheel all the way either way, whether it's all the way to the right, all the way to the left, and do not forget that to get your wheel straight, it is usually, as far as the freight liner, it is two and a half turns either way to get your wheels back straight. So if I go all the way like this, right? I'm all the way to the left now. Now look, one, two, three. Now, get that play, right? Get the play. Now my wheels should be straight. I'm gonna check just to see. Absolutely, I wish y'all could see that. But my wheels are straight now. Remember, you want to get back to get your wheels back straight. Two and a half turns either way and get that play out of the middle. So I want to wish you guys best of luck. God be with you. And uh, like and subscribe to the channel. Press that notification bell so that you can get notifications when we put new videos out. And please comment on the video and even check back in with me to let me know how you did. I had one guy checked in and said, I did it without your tips. Hey, listen, guy, I don't care how you did it as long as you got it done. God bless you guys. Have a great day. It's Deeper Than Trouble.